Guruji, on number four and five with regard to Kier and Raiden, I'm not too sure uh, why you have used the term relative. Because I thought everyone in a Kier uh, is responsibility towards the body of everyone or uh, guidance towards the self of everyone uh, would be more appropriate. But a uh, bit confused to see relative there. Did you have any kind of a... Um, reason why you put relative in terms of, uh, instead of everyone? Yeah. What I'm saying is that if you start with this affection, then this relative will be a very defined you know, uh, scope. But if you have already come to love, then everybody is relative. <laughs> so, I put this relative but, you know, just to make you feel that this is the way you look at it now, right? And the scope of your relatives, right? I must write it, yes. <coughs> this scope of your relatives, is defined by <coughs> what is your, you know, kind of competence or capacity to see your relation with. So, when you are starting with affection, you are able to see some people as your relatives, right? Being related to you. The others, you are not able to see that they are related to you. But when it comes to this, then you can see that everyone is related to you. Therefore, this list of relatives will include everyone. In fact, if you see today, this, you, know, you are all the time thinking of doing something for your family members, right, in the court. And in order to do that, you are even willing to exploit others. Right? This willing to exploit others is possible because you don't have this feeling of relationship with them. Otherwise, how can, how can you exploit anyone? If you are thinking of exploiting others, when you are thinking of giving less and less and getting more and more, right, that is exploitation. So when you are trying to exploit others, does it mean that you have a feeling of relationship with him or a feeling of opposition with him? What is it? Opposition. Feeling of opposition. Certainly this relative, depending upon whether you are, we have been able to expand your feeling of affection to feeling of love or not. If you are not able to do that, then the number of these relatives will be, you know, kind of small. If you have come to this feeling of being related to everyone, then this relatives would include everybody. Then you cannot think of exploiting anybody. Because there is nobody who is the other. Everybody is included as a relative. In fact, it's interesting. As you go on unfolding, right? All these definitions which are given, okay? they will also become much widened than what it is to begin with. So when you say relatives and you are thinking that only your family members are your relatives, then this will have a limited scope. <coughs> but if you can see that everyone is related to you, then this has a very wide scope.
and ultimately it has to come to this. And that is the meaning of all family. It starts from family to all family. Information and a belief. Is it do you mean to say the information reach or the information goal? See what we are doing today is you know based on this information that we are giving to the students, right? We are giving them some degree and, and that has become a basis of differentiation. So some information, some you know, kind of thing has also become the basis of differentiation. They don't define complementarity. They try to differentiate on the basis of this. We had asked you know, about it the very first day when we introduced this discussion. Right? Now we can go back and ask the same question. What is the role of physical utility in the fulfillment of this? <coughs> the feeling of trust, the feeling of respect, the feeling of affection, and so on. physical facility. 
for me to express my feeling of respect. So, except the care, the all other feelings do not require physical facility for its expression, for its fulfillment. Even if you are using this physical facility for the expression of any of these, this is just symbolic. So, when you present a bouquet of flowers to someone, right, to express your feeling of respect, this is just symbolic. That bouquet of flowers is not the respect, right? It is a symbolic thing, right? We are using it as a symbol, right? So, it is not essential to the expression. Right? I could have even said Namaste and you know, yeah. express my feeling of respect. Mm -hmm. So, many things in the society we have designed, okay, just as a symbol to express our feeling. But if we don't have this clarity, what happens over a period of time, then the symbols become more important than the feelings. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and therefore you continue to share the feeling, the symbols without having the feeling. <coughs> then it starts creating problems. When we send a birthday uh, uh, card and greetings, in fact if we look at realistically, it's just a paper, and I'm writing something with the words. It is nothing else actually. But then, when it is being received by the recipient, it works. Oh, he remembered me. <laughs> <laughs> These are very interesting to look at. Yeah. And now, what people have done is that this mobile. So many mobiles have this facility. They can that you can write down the you know the birthday, the people okay, with their number. So when the birthday comes, right, it will automatically send an SMS without you knowing it. <laughs> so what is happening is that the feeling is not there and the message is sent. <laughs> <laughs> there, are, there are services. They will, they will note down everything, and then you can specify what you want to send. At Raki, you want to send this. At this time, you want to send this, and they will keep doing it. You don't have to. Expression. Yeah, in fact, many things, you know, if you now look back, you would realize that what is very fundamental to human being to do, you are thinking in terms of outsourcing. Like this justice also we have outsourced, right? <laughs> this justice was to be done in the family. <coughs> we are not ensuring this and we have outsourced to the government. Then the government will justice. <laughs> okay. Any other question? No question, just to share the birthday story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time you raise, I have to. <laughs> birthday reminded me. About 40 years, now it is 42 years. Every year, the same house, same child is celebrating three birthdays. Every three months or four months, the birthday. And we were thinking, how many children does he have? <coughs> After five, six years, I got transferred somewhere. Then checked it from his secondary staff. It was uh, actually done to mint money. Because <laughs> other people were taking bouquets of flowers and cards to greet. But uh, other people who were corrupt, they used to bring bundles of money to celebrate. So this is how it happens. One day celebrating Thiyai Sanyal, <laughs> one child. 
and when this officer got transferred, he had three truckloads. I do not know whether the money or the permission. <laughs> <laughs> so this happens in Bhutan also, but maybe it is gone. It is 42 years. In the name of birthday. Birthday and it's yeah. an indirect bribe to uh, you know that person. So how he got the information was after five years. Every <coughs> four months, full of car and people rushing to us. It was good excuse. It was over that gratification, I think. So extorting money. That is what it going to happen, it's bound to happen. If this right understanding and right feeling is not there, then any amount of physical facility is not enough. So you can come up with very creative means like this. <laughs> Birthday of the same child three times a year. <laughs> this another story you know, which I must tell you. <coughs> regarding this issue of corruption, that if people do not have this clarity and if they have come to believe that physical facility is everything, then they are bound to feel deprived. Therefore they are bound to exploit and therefore they are bound to get corrupt in due course of time. And if that is what it is, then you cannot stop them from doing corruption. If any rule you make, they will find a way out of it. Okay? So they will have such creative things. You know? So there is a story that there was one some, such person you know, in the kingdom. It's a long, bad story, old story. So there was a man who was very corrupt. And wherever you, you know, kind of post him, he will find out some way of doing corruption. So this message reached to the king. And the king was very unhappy about it. And he tried many days. He did work. Right? So finally one day he said, okay, we are putting you, you know, on no work. Okay. What we have to do is to go by the <coughs> side of the sea okay, and count the number of waves. Right, coming in the sea. So then he thought that now he has to do no work, so he can't get into any corruption, right? So that was assigned to him, and he went and he started doing it. Then the king inquired after a month, what is he doing? So he found that he has found out a very creative way of corruption, right? <laughs> so what was it? He went by the side of the sea and he was counting the number of waves, right? Just sitting, doing it, you know. Then he saw one you know, ship passing by, then another ship passing by. So third day he said, he stopped this ship. He said, you cannot cross, I am counting the number of waves. The king has ordered me. So if you cross, I may miss some waves. <laughs> so you wait. <laughs> so the ship was waiting, you know, for one day, two day, three day, you know. Then he said, Tell me what to do, because then anyway you have to cross, right? So then he told him the way. <laughs> <laughs> so that is how it happens. Right? So place a bride, and then you can cross the ship. Right? Anyway, I mean, nobody is bothered how many <coughs> waves are there. Right? So the king thought that he, if he engages him in no work, Right? There will be no corruption. But if he is, you know, suffering with his mentality, he will find out a very creative way of doing corruption. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Any other question? We often use this uh, word uh, compassion without actually <coughs> uh, we use 
actually what compassion, and I was trying to actually uh, look at where this what compassion falls under, which which uh, out of the nine feelings, which one actually uh, is equivalent to the what compassion because you did use it. So uh, can you tell us what actually is compassion from your perspective? Yeah, this feeling of love. The feeling of being related to everyone. Okay. This is called love. And the expression of this feeling of love would be that you will think and work for the well-being of everyone. <coughs> this thinking and working for the well-being of everyone is called compassion. Express this compassion is an expression of this feeling of love. And because everyone is related to you, right? You will think and work for expelling of everyone without posing any condition on the other person. So he doesn't need to have any qualification, right? For you to work for his well being. So, you will think in terms of taking care of everyone, you know, providing the right guidance to everyone. That would be the compassion, right? Which is born out of this feeling of love. And that is where each one of us want to reach. So, this is not something which is something very particular to some individual, some human being, right? This is something which is the need of every human being to reach up to this feeling of love, which is called complete value. An expression of this feeling would be in terms of you know, thinking and working for the well-being of all. Right? That is happiness and prosperity of everyone. That is compassion. All and everything else that exists. Yeah. So human being <coughs> as well as the rest of nature, every unit in nature. <coughs> so that is the meaning of compassion. And every one of us wants to live with that compassion. With this feeling of love and with that you know, expression of this feeling in the form of compassion. The unfortunate thing is that because of lack of right understanding and right feeling, instead of having love and compassion, right, what we have is the feeling of jealousy and therefore the exploitation and domination. <coughs> and which is not making us happy and which is not making others also happy. So it is making everybody happy. But then why are we doing it? We are doing it by way of our preconditions, which is passed on from generation to generation. And that is why I said we have to start evaluating you know, everything on our own right, <coughs> including the proposals which are made here and including the preconditioning which have been done into you. <coughs> so that self-verification, self-exploration is required. <coughs> to get rid of all these preconditionings which have been <coughs> carried out over you know, generations and generations right? and which is not causing any happiness and prosperity to one and to all. Uh, just coming to the, the meaning of love, <coughs> it seems to me now there is a misunderstanding now. People always use, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> So they need, they seem to be a need to invent a word. I mentioned that that is, that is falling in love, not standing in love. <laughs> 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 this is standing in love. Right? When I understand the relationship, right, with every human being, and I have the acceptance of 
being related to everyone. This is what we are calling as knowledge. Now, what is you know, meant by that love and the force, you know, that I love you, you know, if you look at that, it is not very clear that it has to do with the feelings in relationship with, and in relationship, or it has largely to do with the sensation. Even that is not very clear. And as I mentioned, that if it is based on sensation, right, if it is based on body, then you will end up in the asylum. In one cell or the other cell. <laughs> okay. So if you are in love with the girl, okay, on the basis of the body, on the basis of the sensation, then if you don't get married to her, you will end up in a sign. If you get married to her, you will end up in a sign. And the girl will also end up in a sign. And that is what will happen. That is what is happening. If you try to evaluate love on the basis of the body or on the basis of sensation. So I have taken that example of wrinkles, right? If you develop wrinkles in the face, right? And if your love is based on the body, right? Then you can think what will happen. And that is the problem. All this problem in the family that we see around has to do with this. That you are trying to evaluate on the basis of body, on the basis of sensation, and you cannot have the continuity of it, and therefore you feel stuck after a while. I have a question. Did you read him? Sorry. Yeah, he has a sentence. Oh, so then. <coughs> no, it's okay. After you. Yeah. Yeah. So. Can you take the wrinkle that you are talking to him? Uh, there are three cousins and ancestors of my wife, and I have seen them several times purchasing this, what you call wrinkle lift. So I, don't, I don't even remember the exact time of that one, that one. Hmm. And then gradually, my bo my wife also picked up buying it. And then I was I was not in a position to. Uh, I was not in a position to. Not exactly. I want to stop her buying it, but I wanted to somehow let her understand that the getting wrinkles on the face is natural. These guys. What is funny thing is. I don't find them, it is not a time that I should, they, even if they are so much obsessed with, obsessed with using this, I don't find it is an appropriate time for them because they are so young and then they started already using and then what they say is this, if we can start using from now, it is going to remain that. It will have a longer impact, that is what they, that is what they are trying to tell. I mean, I have that time. Uh, and this is my wife, not to touch you, but they still use this. <laughs> okay, so what I would do is sum up this, our discussion on harmony and family, and then we'll you know, switch over to this discussion on harmony in society. So let me recall all that I have said in last one and a half day. You said if you look at the harmony in family, it has essentially to do with human human relationship. This was one observation. Then we said regarding this human human relationship, these are the four observations that we can make. First, the relationship is between self and the self. The body is used as an instrument by both of them. Second, there are feelings in relationship in one self or another self. 
Then they said these feelings can be identified, they are definite, and these are the nine feelings. And finally we said that their evaluation, their fulfillment and evaluation leads to mutual happiness. 